Okay, as we move on to 31, this is the first question in the calculator section, which you can kind of tell by looking at the four answers. These are decimals. They certainly look irrational. They're not any nice decimals that I recognize. So yeah, this is in all likelihood a calculator problem. Uh, so here we go. We've got two functions. f of x is tangent of x uh, right there. And then we've got g of x being given by, let's see, x squared. At what value of x in this given interval right here do the graphs of f and g have parallel tangent lines? All right, guys that's the big phrase you wanted to focus on. Parallel tangent lines means that their derivatives have to be equal to each other. The derivative of each function tells you the slope of their tangent lines, and for them to be parallel, those slopes have to be the same. So we want to know where is f prime of x equal to g prime of x. Well, let's find those derivative guys. The derivative of tangent of x is secant squared of x. And on the right side, the derivative of x squared is just going to be a 2x. So again, given the fact that these answers looked uh, irrational, and the fact that I don't think I know how to solve this equation by hand, yeah, I'm going to go to my calculator here and ask it to solve that for us. So let's take a look. Sorry, guys, I wasn't quite ready for this. I'm going to add a calculator page. And here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. How do I get to secant on this calculator here? Probably I hit cosine. Yeah, there it is. And there's the secant. So I'm sorry, we had the secant. Uh, ooh, it was secant squared of x. So I'm going to put a secant of x, but then go back and put parentheses around that whole thing. OK, and that's how we do secant squared of x in the calculator. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself there. Needed to put in solve first. So let me go to my algebra menu and solve. Oh, now I don't like what I did there. OK, sorry, guys. Uh, let's get rid of some of this. Oh, boy, this is bad news bears. OK, get rid of that and that and that. OK, so solve. I think I need another open parenthesis right there. OK, so ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so I wanted two parentheses there. That closes the angle. OK, secant of x quantity squared, gotcha, is equal to, and then we just had a 2x over there on the right. Now, I have a feeling, guys, if I do what I normally do, which is hit comma x, this might tell me there's a whole bunch of solutions right there, OK? Um, but I got to go back and remember they were limiting us to a given domain right here just on the interval between 0 and pi. So 0 and 3.14. Hopefully there's only one solution there. Yeah, and it looks like that first one we have there would be right. So x is equal to 2.083. If we were to round that there, so I'll go ahead and write that out. Here we go x is equal to 2.083, which, there we go, is one of our answers for 31. So it looks like we're dealing with b right there.